in software testing and quality assurance let us talk about the testing of web applications we'll see what to test in web application and also how to test in web application so what to test and how to test we're going to see we we'll see the functional and usability issues like the functional testing the usability testing the navigation testing the form testing and the page content testing then we'll see about the configuration and compatibility testing the reliability and availability testing in the performance testing we will see the scalability testing the load testing and stress testing and also the security testing the end to end transaction testing the database testing and also the post implementation testing so web based application they are different they present us with new challenges both for the developers and also the testers so what are these challenges the web application have very short release cycles the technology is constantly changing and the users you know when you actually launch the website or the web application it may be possible you have huge number of users and also inability to control the users running environment and you want 24/7 365 availability of the website any difficulty or any problem in the response time or the accuracy or the ease of use will make the user to click on somebody's else website this is a topology of a website if you see there are so many users here different browsers browser 1 say firefox opera say some other you can take any name internet internet explorer then you have internet service provider in between and you go through the internet the father of all networks that is internet then you have a firewall and you have a web server you can be you know application server also but let us stick to web server right now this web server again has uh, this database server and application server can be seen differently or you can see them together also since application server is uh, required because um, we are dealing with application so there will be some ejbs or you know various things which will help our uh, application so what are and what is the need for web testing first the content is the content meaningful your application is it easy to use or user friendly what about different browsers we talked about Com compatibility is with this browser the technology we are using how reliable it is what about the power of the servers how many visitors we are anticipating the machines are they fast enough how much activity the side may handle the functional and usability issues first of all the first intention of first testing approach or thinking should focus on the site's intended behavior for that we need to assess the functionality the usability the navigation the forms and the page content why is functional testing important i hope most of you might have encountered these type of problems on the various web websites various web applications we start with the functional testing that is the functional and usability issues the functional testing involves making sure features that most affect the user interaction or user engagement they work properly so these may include the forms we use forms searching we do pop up windows we do shopping carts online payments all these are good or not so functional testing evaluate the content of dynamically generated pages and also things which are behind the scene like the connections to the database in the usability testing we try to assess the website's user friendliness and what is the suitability by gathering information from how a user is interacting with the website or the web application so the key of usability testing is to 
acknowledge and to understand what a user actually does. So usability testing, the steps are, first we need to identify the website purpose, who are the intended user, to define our test and then to conduct the usability testing. And then we need to analyze the acquired information. Then we come to the navigation part, important part, navigation testing. Good navigation is an essential part of a website. If we have a complex website and also it provides a lot of information. Whenever I'm talking about web website, is it consider that I'm talking synonymously about the website and web application. So most users expect something from our uh, website or web application. They want easy and quick access to the information. The pages are arranged in a logical hierarchy. The confirmation of where they are at that point and then they may return to their previous states. The layout and look should be consistent every page and the pages should be uncluttered. So website that use forms need to be tested because we are talking about forms testing now to ensure that each field works properly and that the form posts all data which are intended by the designer of that. How do we test? What are the actions? Using the tab key to verify that the form actually traverses fields in the proper order and both the forward and backward. Testing the boundary values of the fields, checking that form traps invalid data correctly, especially the uh, variety of data, numeric, email like this. And also verifying that the form updates the information correctly. Then we come to the page content testing. Do we have the correct content with respect to the user perspective? We need to check this. Then this, these uh, tests actually fall into two categories. First, we want to ensure that each component functions correctly and the content actually, the component function uh, correctly and the content of each is correct. Then we come to the configuration and compatibility testing. What is the key challenge in our web application? This is that the user sees a web page how the user designer would have intended. The user can select different browser software, different browser options has to be seen and he used different network software and online services and the applications are running concurrently. And the compatibility testing means we are ensuring the product functionality and reliability on the supported browsers and platforms that exist on the customer computer. These are the guidelines for testing web application just by uh, listing the platforms here and the browsers. Platforms and browser. So these are the platforms, you know, you can add whichever uh, yours is. And then you can see that with respect to this platform or this operating system and with respect to this, these different uh, the browser, what is the applicability or non-applicability. In the reliability and availability scenario, a key requirement of a website, we want it to be available whenever the user requests it, every day, most of the time. The number of users accessing a website simultaneously, concurrently, it may also affect the availability. In order to assess the availability, this tester should build test or test cases around the anticipated usage spikes which can include. For uh, store application, the promotional campaigns and sales, for business cycles, month end and quarter end dates, for banking application, direct deposit dates, and during maintenance, of course, they require downtime for backups or creates and other operations. When it comes to the performance, this testing, performance testing, would evaluate system performance under normal condition also and heavy usage also. This is very crucial. Performance is very crucial for web application. In this performance test, normally we do the scalability testing, the load testing and the stress testing. What is this scalability testing? This is concerning the website's ability to handle the volumes and type of activities that can occur after launch. Because you have given this, user would want this, this, this. There are certain types of scenarios 
that affect the scalability how closely the test environment matches the production environment millions of user accessing the site during launch and the activity spikes during the marketing promotion load testing load testing we want to model real world experiences typically by generating many simulation using our users accessing the website then the load testing this may need to be repeated at least once coming to stress testing that is the part of performance testing only so stress testing it consists of subjecting the system to different varying and maximum loads to evaluate the resulting performance so stress testing can be automated we have tools that can report the information like this number of uh, requests transaction in, in uh, kilobytes per second round trip time time from the user makes a request to the time that the user receives the result and how many number of how many concurrent transactions are there how the performance when the degradation starts happening or taking place who are the users and their numbers the cpu and memory usage of the application server in the security testing because you are exposed to everyone security is uh, again a primary concern when communicating and conducting business especially sensitive and business critical application over the internet and regardless whether the application requires the user to enter a password to access the website the tester needs to check for the internet threats the end to end transaction testing this end to end transaction follow the workflow to the customer from the beginning of the visit until the customer leaves the site this is end to end transaction in the database testing the key issues are data integrity no data corruption data validity accurate information provided to the customer and accurate information passed back to the database data manipulation and updates like updating various things at at once concurrently then the post implementation testing in the post implementation testing we verify the behavior of the application in the production environment it is not feasible to duplicate the test environment to match the production environment actually so post implementation testing takes place in the production maintenance window production maintenance window so what key point we saw testing web application the present challenges functionality and usability test we focus on the sites which are intended which we intend the behavior to show so functionality or functional testing asserts or tells you whether main features they function correctly the usability testing will evaluate whether a site is user friendly by observing the user as they interact with the site and testing a form ensures that each fields were properly navigation testing that is verifying all the pages images links and other page components they work and testing pages content ensures that the information provided by the website is actually correct then the compatibility and configuration testing this will make sure that the application functions correctly across the various hardware and software environment reliability and availability testing assess whether the website is accessible whenever the user requests it by testing around anticipated peak usage such as marketing promotion and high activity cycles the performance testing will ensure that the website servers respond to browser requests within the defined parameters and in this we go for scalability load testing and stress testing scalability will assess the web site ability to meet the load requirements the load testing will evaluate how the system functions when the processing may or many simultaneous requests from number of multitude of users and stress testing subjects to the system in varying loads different loads then comes the security testing which aims to check for internet threats uh, any vulnerability or we need to protect the sensitive information so end to end transaction testing test all parts that make up a particular transaction by just following the customer's workflow from entering to leaving the site or application database to verify the integrity validity and manipulation and updates of the data and the post implementation testing we need to verify application behavior in the production environment thank you so much this was about web testing